If we were dipping our feet in the water yesterday, today we are going to be doing a cannonball into the belly of the beast. We are on our way to Marawi, the infamous city that six years ago it was overrun. So I have no online information how to get there. But I found a bus terminal on Google Maps and I'm hoping there's going to be a bus that takes me there. So over here, I believe, is the entrance. I could buy a ticket here? I go to Marawi? Yes. Yeah. Okay, okay. Marawi. 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 You're going to? Marawi. Marawi? Yeah. Do what terminal is there? Marawi? It's not here? I guess there's no bus that goes to Marawi here. Then we have to go to a completely separate bus station. I was told it is going to be this jeepney. I believe we just have to wait until it fills up and we're off to Bulawa. Now we have arrived at Bulawa westbound bus terminal. And now we have to find the bus to Marawi. I go to Marawi. Huh? Okay, thank you. Okay, I think we might have found it. Yes, Marawi. <laughs> oh, this year, so we're gonna be waiting for a while, but we found the bus. Now we're on the bus, just waiting to depart in about an hour or so. And take a look at this. We have the air conditioner. Comfy seats. I have two seats. We'll see how much it costs. 265. And we have finally made it to Marawi. Getting off the bus, there is a mosque. Hello. How much is one? Okay, I get the uh, 20. You. First purchase made, a nice fruit salad, and the first thing I'm going to be eating all day. This malak. Very good. All for 20? A bunch of different fruits? Couldn't have made a better decision. And judging from the sign behind me, I think I can officially say we have entered Marawi. And take a look at that. The Islamic city of Marawi. Hello. Okay. Uh, is it halal? No, halal. Yes. Okay, perfect. Um, yeah, I will get this. So. This one is chicken and this beef. Okay, I get the chicken. Okay, 100 So all over the Philippines, you're going to be finding these type of minute burger shops that you can get. I believe they have a deal where it's like you buy one, get one free. Basically just getting two. I haven't gone in any anywhere else in the philippines because most of the time they're not halal and a lot of the times they cook with pork but being here in a muslim city muslim territory all the food is going to basically be halal and this one is so we're finally going to try it out for the first time it's basically about sunset time right now so i don't really have much exploring i can do today hello hi how are you guys Good? Okay. See you. <laughs> Hello. Hi. What are you selling? Okay, how much is one? 30. 30. Okay, I will take one. And how much is for this? Okay, I get one this and one this. Okay. Thank you. Hello. One thing I am noticing is the city is uh, very lively. Maybe it had its past, but it's getting back to its future. And you can see people are very friendly. Everywhere I'm going, everyone is staring at me because not many tourists are coming here. I could not wait. We have to try the minute burger that they have. This one. Very good. Spicy. It has a few toppings on top. And overall, a very good burger. We are now entering the war-torn 
part of Marawi and already you can already start to see the presence of the military so it's the next day I didn't want to film in the dark but now it's the morning and take a look at this we are now here at the Marawi lake and look at that right there there's a mosque that's a mosque that's a mosque that's a mosque there's another one over there oh, yeah, another mosque over there oh yeah another mosque over there such an incredible view mountains surrounding this whole lake such beautiful nature so peaceful and tranquil and this is exactly why i really wanted to come here and travel advisory warning it says that this region is a red level warning and it actually advises not to come here but now that i'm here I could possibly say this might be my favorite place in the, in the Philippines. You've seen from my interactions with the people yesterday, how friendly, how kind they are. Now you're seeing this beautiful nature and we still have so much more of this region to explore. But obviously there is a reputation for danger and there's a reason why. And we are going to be seeing that now. And, uh, right now we are actually in the ground zero location from where it happened and this is a whole entire area like these buildings are just one of many many buildings where you could see it's like completely bombed out bullet riddled and now we're entering like the main street as you guys can see like there's so many different buildings all around here that are completely destroyed mashallah at least as well there's also construction being done inshallah hopefully they'll rebuild the city soon but now you could just start to see the scale of what went down over here everywhere we go an entire city destroyed look at this you can literally see bullet holes and bomb holes all around and the reason for this is because this is actually where a lot of the rebels were um, hiding out. So they were all in the houses and there was like a huge, huge battle to repel them. Imagine this, just about seven years ago would have been a full entire city. Just like from what we've seen yesterday, the whole area with so much people, lively. It would have been over here as well. And now, it is just reduced to what we see right now. Unreal. I want to actually step inside to show you guys. Now you guys can see the buildings are like completely destroyed and on the verge of collapse. I don't know if it's even safe to be in here, but wow, it's so crazy. But you can just imagine just about seven years ago, this would have been like prime real estate in the city, overlooking the lake view. Oh my God, can't believe that, man. So. Hello. Hi. Hi. Would I be able to buy something? Yes. Yes? Yeah, I will take this. From Canada? Yes. When did you move back into Marawi? 2021. Ah, so three years ago? Yes. You came back? Uh, Saidamin. Saidamin. Ah, my name is Yunus. Nice to meet you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I really didn't even need anything. I just wanted to try to support the local economy as much as I can. And we ended up getting this energy drink, so great purchase for the morning. We'll try it out. Bismillah. Good. We have come to this beautifully newly built mosque, which while I travel the world, one of the things I love to do the most is see all the different types of designs of the mosques. And right now we are standing in front of a very beautiful and particular one. You can see the people are very proud of the mosque. This is an important fact about the Muslim culture as a whole is that mosques all around the world are held to be place of worship. The Muslim people hold it in a very high regard in their society. As you guys can see, right now in a Muslim territory, we have a 
very good example of this beauty that you would see all across the world. And this would be in the midst of all of the destruction, hope for a better life. And in my opinion, that is one of the most beautiful parts of Islam. You can see the rebuilding of the city has already begun. And now we're walking down another one of the side streets over here. Actually, one thing that's interesting to see is that, hello, is that it's a little bit more lively than I would have expected. I guess now people are starting to move back in, trying to rebuild the city. And now life is being pumped back into the, the city. Inshallah, I will come back and we'll see it in a much better place. I don't know if you were able to read, but on the Jipni, they had a Arabic, I believe it might have been the Shahada. And that's one of the beautiful things I actually missed about being in Muslim territories all over the world. You see slogans or little things about Islam, just randomly on motorcycles, taxis, and everything all around the city. Look at this. Before everything happened, this would have been a children clinic where kids came to be treated. And now reduced to this. And just like we've seen before, another incredible mosque. MashaAllah, guys. Just take a look at how incredibly blue, beautiful this is. Gold all around the Islamic center of Marawi. Ah, look at this. I think this is a redone building. Hello, how are you, my friend? I'm good, how are you? Yes, I am Mr. Munto. Munto, okay. George. Nice to meet you. My name is Yunus. I see that you have a, a rebuilt home, right? We rebuilt this because yeah. the, uh, the, the old building was already the, uh, demolished. Yeah, so I built this for uh, uh, rebuilt it. Uh, you, you rebuilt it yourself? Yes. Wow, mashallah. Yeah. <laughs> you are welcome. Okay, thank you. Oh. Uh, MashaAllah guys, look at this. So this yeah. is a rebuilt home from the foundations a while back. You see, they have electricity. How do you get electricity? No, this is my personal uh, And this is your kitchen. When did you move back in? We built this uh, new building in uh, January 2023. About one year ago? Yeah. Wow. One year ago. We are very happy because we are uh, you visiting us. Thank you so much. Inshallah, maybe I come back here in the future and the whole city will be rebuilt. Ah, Inshallah. Yeah. Inshallah, I will return to see you again. Uh, Inshallah, when you return and uh, come back here, just visit my house. I will, Inshallah. Yes, yes. Don't forget my name. I, I am Mr. Monto. Monto. Okay, Monto. I won't forget. Ah. All right, it was a pleasure meeting you guys. Okay, thank you. See you. And over here, I believe they have like a water distribution system. So as you guys can see, people are slowly starting to move back in. And I believe the guy over there, he had his own uh, personal electricity but obviously the rest of this area needs that to be rebuilt life is slowly being returned back to normal and another thing i just wanted to mention is just you see the life of the people so happy and uh, completely hopeful for a better life this is a very beautiful example you can see people's clothes drying some sort of business there's another mosque right there another mosque right there a beautiful little river lake another thing we have papayas and we just crossed over from the bridge and now you start to see the city livening up even more and more hello hi hey then now we have stumbled upon this market where you could get tons of different things there's like dried fish i think over here fruits regular fish wow big fish we have all different types of vegetables over here Ah, fish. Wow, this comes from the lake? Chile. And there you go, this is a little market right here in Marawi. Hello. What is a good thing to eat in the morning? That one? That one. Okay, uh, what else is another thing? Try that one. Okay, why not? I take them. Alrighty, well, we have a nice breakfast right here. And actually, this is going to be my first time eating a specialty dish here in uh, Marawi, which is uh, 
water buffalo. Yeah. So it's not cow actually, it's a different thing. We'll mix it in for rice. And there we go. This one. Basically tastes just like cow. Very good. Nice specialty dish here in Marawi, as well as uh, just a regular egg salad. This one. Very good. A little spicy, but overall, amazing. Hello. Uh, I take uh, one of this. Yeah. I found this thing that looks like the Spanish. Bismillah. Hello. Hello. Uh, Just like I said, I believe it is the same thing as the Spanish original. If I go, you go now? No, not yet. One only. If I go, you need one more? Yes. Okay. All right, in order to get to Cotabato, we have to take these regular just bars, which fill up with a bunch of people, and then we're off to Cotabato. So, our time here in Marawi was short, but it was very pleasant. In fact, I would say it's probably my favorite city in all of Philippines. I really enjoyed it here. People are so nice, people are so kind, and overall, I probably felt more safe here than anywhere else. So. I think the misconceptions aren't as true as they seem and I definitely recommend it. If you guys are in the Philippines and you want to see something different, experience something less touristic, make sure to come to Marawi and the rest of Mindanao. Very beautiful place.